Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video. Welcome back to the pen testing bootcamp, more specifically the Windows Privilege Escalation section of the pen testing bootcamp. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to elevate our privileges on a Windows system by exploiting or by taking advantage of insecure GUI apps, right? Now, uh, this particular technique is not something that I would say is uh, important, especially in this context uh, or in the context of a penetration tester, because uh, you know, if a system has RDP on it and you've gathered legitimate credentials, then maybe that could be useful. And, uh, you know, in this case, uh, the example that's being used or the application that's being used to demonstrate this technique is MS Paint, which again is not something you'll typically see, especially in an enterprise environment. However, there is validity to this technique in that some applications or programs uh, and these, of course, GUI programs may be configured to run with elevated privileges or with admin privileges or, you know, entity or, or system privileges, if you will. All right. And in that case, uh, you know, you can essentially execute them. And of course, they're being executed with those privileges. But you can, uh, you know, through analysis of the application, try and find ways of using that uh, that program's elevated access to you know execute something else probably in this case as you can see uh, execute uh, you know cmd.exe right so the first step as per the documentation here is to log on via rdp and you can see that they have a, a you know mspaint.exe uh, you know configured to run with admin privileges and a shortcut for that has been put on the desktop called admin paint right and we can then view the permissions associated with ms paint by uh, you know uh, typing in or using the cmd command task list and then listing or you know finding the string mspain.exe however given the fact that we have rdp access this can really be simplified so i'll just open up my rdp session here and you can see that we have admin paint right over here so you know i double click on it and it's going to run with uh, system or admin privileges i'm not really sure uh, and instead of using task list, given the fact that we have, uh, you know, GUI access or, you know, access via RDP, I can open up the task manager and under details, I should be able to sort through this. So I can click on, uh, I can sort through the actual username and uh, let's see if we can try and identify, you know, the actual MS Paint service here. So um, they're currently sorted alphabetically. So let me just, uh, you know, try and sort through that. You can see we have a few uh, programs or you know services running with system privileges and uh, it looks like we have a few right over here so it looks like ms paint is running with um, admin privileges right which again is not really what we wanted but if we have gui access then we can pretty much bypass uac quite easily uh, or you know change passwords etc so we know that it's running with admin privileges so we can close that up now, as per the documentation here, uh, we can essentially take advantage of this and more specifically take an, uh, advantage of MS Paint because uh, we can open a custom file and that'll bring up the Explorer. And uh, within the Explorer, we have the, uh, you know, the navigation bar that allows you to navigate between locations and directories. And we can essentially open up cmd.exe instead of, you know, a, you know, a regular image file. So we click on file. Uh, and then open and instead of specifying a file here we can just head over into the navigation bar uh, paste that in there and hit enter and that'll open up a privileged command prompt session because paint is running with admin privileges and of course i can verify that by saying who am i and you can see i'm currently admin right and if i just open up another command prompt session here uh, this is a standard one you know i can say who am i again here and in this case, I'm currently the standard user. So this command prompt session is elevated, which means I can pretty much do whatever I want. I can execute an executable uh, with admin privileges. So for example, if I transferred over a meterpreter payload, I can execute it directly from this command prompt session and it'll be executed with admin privileges, right? So again, this is a fairly simple technique in, all, in terms of understanding how it works. If you have access to the target via RDP, your objective is to find, uh, you know, a graphical user interface application or program that runs with admin or system privileges, and then try and find a way of getting that application to execute, uh, you know, cmd.exe or even a reverse shell payload of your choice. And that, of course, will be executed with the privileges associated with the program that you're targeting. 
So again, that's a fairly simple uh, technique to understand and uh, we've essentially completed it. But as I said, I have to go through all of them and explain those that might be a little bit confusing. So we're now moving uh, pretty much into the final um, you know, two videos. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comment section uh, or you can contact me via my social networks. If you want to reach out to me, you can do so via my Twitter or the Discord server. The links to both of those are in the description section and I will be seeing you in the next video. A huge thank you to all of our Patreons. Uh, your support is greatly appreciated and this is a formal thank you. So thank you Shamir Douglas, Ryan Carr, Sandor, Michael Busby, Sid Saab, Doozy, Dafim Bari, Dustin Umpress and Michael Hubbard. Your support is greatly appreciated and you keep us making even more high quality content for you guys. So thank you.